Dad's Army is a beloved British sitcom created by Jimmy Perry and David Croft. The show aired on the BBC in 1968 and continued until 1977, captivating audiences with its humor, endearing characters, and nostalgic portrayal of life during World War II. Set in the fictional town of Walmington-on-Sea, the series humorously depicts the misadventures of the Home Guard, a group of eccentric and often bumbling amateur soldiers tasked with defending their homeland from potential invasion. Join Facts First as we present the sad true reason why Dad's Army was cancelled for good. The Show Dad's Army first aired on the BBC July 31, 1968, and continued until November 13, 77. The idea for Dad's Army came from Jimmy Perry's own experiences during the war, where he served in the Home Guard himself. Drawing on his first-hand knowledge, Perry and Croft set out to create a sitcom that celebrated the bravery and resourcefulness of the often overlooked and underprepared Home Guard. They aimed to inject humor into the seriousness of war, making it accessible to a wide audience while showcasing the indomitable spirit of ordinary people faced with extraordinary circumstances. The show's casting was crucial. The ensemble cast included renowned British actors such as Arthur Lowe, John the Measurer, Clive Dunn, and Ian Lavender, among others. Each actor brought their unique comedic talents to the roles, creating memorable characters that would become beloved by audiences. Dad's Army was an instant hit, capturing the hearts of viewers across the UK. Its witty humor, endearing characters, and gentle satire struck a chord with the audience, transcending generational gaps. The show's catchphrases like Don't Panic and They Don't Like It Up Em became a part of popular culture, and its influence extended beyond the small screen. The series' success continued throughout its nine-year run, and Dad's Army remains a quintessential part of British television. Its enduring popularity has led to countless repeats, spin-offs, and stage adaptations, keeping the spirit of the show alive for new generations to enjoy. The legacy of Dad's Army is a testament to the talents of its creators, who brought to life a timeless comedy that celebrated the resilience and camaraderie of the ordinary heroes who served in the Home Guard during World War II. The Cancellation Dad's Army enjoyed tremendous success throughout its nine-year run, becoming a beloved British sitcom that left an indelible mark on TV history. But the show eventually came to an end due to several key factors. One of the primary reasons for the cancellation was the departure of some key cast members as well as health issues faced by some active members during the final season. For starters, there was the shocking death of actor Edward Sinclair. His life was cut short due to a fatal car accident that occurred on August 5, 1977. The accident happened just weeks before the final episode of Dad's Army aired, adding a somber note to the end of the series. Sinclair's death was a devastating loss to the entertainment industry and his fellow cast members who cherished his contributions to the show. With his impeccable comic timing and endearing portrayal of the lovable verger, Sinclair had become an integral part of the iconic ensemble. His passing marked the end of an era for Dad's army and left fans mourning. Following his death, Arthur Lowe was quoted as saying the show would thus come to an end. But many people point out the fact that the final episode of Dad's Army clearly indicated that the show was designed to end at that point either way. However, the final season saw Lowe struggling with narcolepsy, which made filming more of a challenge. Additionally, John the Measurer was suffering from cirrhosis of the liver and had difficulties with the filming schedule. Add to that the fact that John Laurie had an ongoing battle with emphysema, not to mention struggles with his memory, and it seems there was little chance the show could have gone on for much longer. Furthermore, television trends and audience preferences were changing during the 80s. New sitcoms with different styles and comedic sensibilities were emerging, and the landscape of British television was evolving. The creators and producers of Dad's Army might have believed that the show had reached its natural conclusion and that it was time to make way for fresh content and programming. As a result of all of these factors, Dad's Army was not renewed for another season after its final episode aired in 1977. While the show ended its original run, its legacy endured through reruns, DVD releases, and stage adaptations, ensuring that the charm and humor of Walmington on Sea and its iconic home guard continue to be cherished. Content Warning in the recent re-airings of the spin-off Dad's Army film, which originally aired in 1971, the BBC has decided to put a warning before it, saying that there's some language people might find offensive. Naturally, this caused some pushback from fans of the show, who took this as an affront to the spirit of the program. 
They assumed it had something to do with the disparaging way in which the characters referred to the Nazis. However, the BBC clarified this was not the point of the warning. During the course of the show and in the movie, the phrase fuzzy wuzzy is endearingly used by Private Joe Walker, played by James Beck. In the show, Walker is a crafty and resourceful black market trader who often tries to make a quick profit by selling various goods to his fellow members of the Home Guard. Whenever he's attempting to make a sale or convince someone to buy something, he affectionately addresses them as Fuzzy Wuzzy. The phrase is used as a term of endearment and camaraderie meant to create a sense of familiarity and charm in the character's interactions with others. It showcases his shrewd yet affable personality and adds a touch of humor to his business dealings. But while the use of the phrase Fuzzy Wuzzy in the show Dad's Army was intended to be lighthearted and playful, it has sparked controversy and criticism over the years due to its historical and racial connotations. The phrase originally comes from a poem by Rudyard Kipling that referred to the modest warriors during the Anglo-Egyptian War of 1882. The term Fuzzy Wuzzy was used by the British to describe the appearance of modest warriors, specifically referring to their curly hair. While it may have been seen as a whimsical term in its historical context, it's now considered racially insensitive and offensive as it reduces people of a certain ethnic group to a caricature based on their appearance. The Reasons for the Warning The controversy surrounding the use of the phrase in Dad's Army arises from the fact that it perpetuates stereotypes and reflects a lack of awareness of the impact that language can have on marginalized communities. Critics argue the continued use of such language, even in fictional and comedic context, can reinforce harmful stereotypes and perpetuate a culture of insensitivity. And as the show continues to be aired and enjoyed by audiences all over the world, the use of the phrase fuzzy wuzzy could be seen as perpetuating an outdated and offensive portrayal of certain ethnic groups. As societal norms have evolved, there's a growing understanding of the importance and avoiding language that might be considered offensive or hurtful. In response to the criticism and changing attitudes, some broadcasters have chosen to edit or remove episodes of Dad's Army that contain the phrase. This reflects a growing commitment to ensuring that media content remains respectful and sensitive to diverse audiences. It also highlights the ongoing conversation about how historical portrayals and language can impact present-day perceptions and sensibilities. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think terms or language once considered inoffensive should be censored or warned against if it's considered offensive now? Or should older art be left untouched, regardless of how it holds up by today's standards? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.